how is the victim? The one how exploit other living beings? Or the one how is exploited? How is the victim? The person how is exposed for making child porn? Or the children how are? exploited for child porn how is the victim the rapist or is the victim the raped the one house raped how is the victim the murderer the hitman or is the victim the ones how is is murdered or the one how of an attempt of uh, of or somebody how is harassed with murder trials how is the victim the slave master in the 19th century how farms were exposed for cruelty or the slaves no I suggest you will say that in all those situations the victims are the one who are being exploited. But why then siding with the side of the oppressors when it comes to animal agriculture and believing the outrageous lies from the animal agriculture industry that vegans are so aggressive and animal rights people are so aggressive to farmers or must I say animal breeders because there's a more correct word for them you don't can harvest animals even their psychotic minds believe you can harvest animals by the way they mean with harvesting murdering just like uh, Nazis say that they're euthanized or uh, race purification or something like that when they speak about uh, murdering of Jews. Euphemism games, it's always what oppressors do. Kindness begins on the dinner table, people. You should not take the side of the oppressors in any situations. You should always side with oppressed. My Eloise remembers us in his work. Concentration camp survivor, by the way. Silence encourages the tormentor, not once the tormented. That's true. Take always sides. Take the side of the oppressed and not one of the oppressed at. The animal rights activists, they are actually the one who get the death threats and the tens of their life from the violent thugs who call themselves farmers. Just like in the time of slavery, try to kill, in some cases, the abolitionists for speaking out against slavery and opposing the evils of slavery. And what kind of assholes uh, like to uh, defend them? People like Hammond, the governor of South Carolina, I was a disgusting, perverted this casting scumbag take sides neutrality helps the oppressor silence incurs the tormentor neutrality helps the tormentor and incurs him and it does not once help the tormentor Compassion to all living beings is a mark of a civilized society. 
racism, cockfighting, rodeos and suits are all marks of an uncivilized cult. So, stop thinking that animals don't matter just because they don't belong to the same kind of species as you. The pigs, the chickens, the turkeys, there are also persons. There are sentient living beings. They have a central nervous system connected to a brain. This means they can feel pain. There can be rational. Some are stupid, but so are some of our species. Very, very stupid, even by our standards of what intelligence implies. What most of the time is really manipulation. We are so evolved in one aspect, technology. We are so, so not evolved in compassion, in decency, in living in harmony, in justice anywhere, and it's about to justice everywhere. Peace begins on the dinner table. Justice, equality, is not something you are talking about. It is something you actually extend. It's something you actually give. Animals have nothing harmed you ever in your whole life. So the least you can do is return the favor by going vegan. Stop making excuses. I don't want to hear your excuses. I want that you stop making excuses because I despise people who are acting like Hamons, the governor of the south, and how are extremely passive aggressive, make stupid, irrational excuses. How do it make sense, by the way, and want that I let them go away with it. I have no time for your pathetic egos. Don't challenge me. Don't challenge my knowledge. Please, people, I wait. When darkness and light become one. Well, the reality splintered away and the truth become visible.